All right, guys, so emergency press conference. Uh, Hurricane Helena has absolutely ruined the entire western side of North Carolina. What you're seeing, this video right here, this is Chimney Rock. This is what's left of Chimney Rock. The whole town got completely ripped out and pulled into the river and pushed towards Lake Lure. It's absolutely destroyed everything. And it's like this little valley town. It was just like, you know, this little small area between mountains. You can see right there, there used to be a road leading in there, and that's turned into a river. Completely ripped out, washed away. This is the before and after. So the left side of the picture you see is what it looked like before, and the right side is what it looks like now. Completely washed away. There's nothing left. It's been absolutely, completely devastated. There's nothing There's nothing left. Um, just crazy. The, the, the amount of devastation that's happened with this storm is unreal. This is unlike anything anyone's ever seen before, at least in the past like 60 years. This is also Chimney Rock here still too. It's completely ruined. Totally ruined the whole western side of the state. People are trapped without electricity. There's homes on fire. There are, you know, entire sections. This is also in the same area right there. All this wood that you see is just like washed out from Chimney Rock that's pushed down the river that's you know, there's nowhere for it to go. There's entire portions of interstates that are completely washed out, as you can see. Um, entire apartment complex is flooded. People are stuck in their homes. They can't get out because it's still flooded and the water still receding slowly, moving down the mountainside to come out to the eastern side of the state. Because what's going to happen is since the mountains are all elevated right here, all the water is going to go like this down into the Piedmont region, and then eventually it'll wash out probably in the Cape Fear River and out into the, the tributaries that lead out to the Atlantic Ocean, but it's going to take time for it to get there. And so you've just got tons of these in neighborhoods that are completely flooded and washed out. Um, it is it is absolutely unreal. Nobody up there has cell phone signal. I can't get in touch with any of my friends that are up there. My brother's up there right now. He goes to Western Carolina University. Haven't been able to talk to him one single time. Fortunately, he's been able to reach out to my other brother who has got who was able to talk to him and just like confirm that he's okay. Uh, there's entire areas without electricity, without without internet, so nobody can get on internet unless you got like Starlink or something like that. Like Starlink would be really, really helpful in this situation since all of the internet's out. This right here is in Swannanoa. That's how bad the houses are. They're f five minutes east of Asheville. People are having to break out through their windows to get out onto their roofs and like stay on their roofs because they don't have any cell phone signal because everything's gone. Um, all the cell towers are down, of course. So like they can't call for help or call 911 to get emergency responders up there. Like this is an actual disaster. Uh, you know, entire bridges that are completely washed out and destroyed, you know. Burnsville, North Carolina, Boone and Asheville. There's a road that leads between Boone and Asheville completely wrecked from mud, from like mudslides and from like, you know, massive flooding. The road's completely gone. There's nothing. You can't drive on that. You're done. There's no, there's no getting around houses floating away while emergency responders are around trying to help people entire bridges out sections of houses completely gone. It is absolute devastation. I mean, I've been told that the entire River Arts District of Asheville, North Carolina is completely underwater. And I know before I lived in Asheville for seven years, and when I was still living there, the River Arts District was starting to grow. And over the past seven to 10 years, like it's grown and blossomed into this big, you know, cultural space in Asheville where there's tons, there was tons of breweries, uh, lots of place for live music, lots of restaurants, dining places like parks, um, tons of new b built homes that people were living in. It's crazy. Asheville, North Carolina, I-40 before and after at US-74. Um, yeah, you can walk out your front door and there's like nowhere to walk. It's just a raging river. Like insanity, dude. Total insanity. Like, what are people supposed to do? Yeah, here's the River Arts District in North Carolina or in Asheville. 
Nothing left. Completely washed out. Buildings submerged. All the street lights are completely submerged. There's no roads. The river that was right next to the River Arts District obviously overflowed and went right over all of the property that was right next to it. And it's gone. It's completely gone. Like I said, entire sections of road gone, like Cherokee, Cherokee, North Carolina. It's just, it's unreal. Like, I've heard stories of hospitals having to evacuate up there. There's been limited places where people have been able to get Wi-Fi and communicate with loved ones and stuff like that, but it's been very few and far between. Uh, it is it is crazy. As of Saturday, at least 53 people have been confirmed to have lost their lives so far. Um, there's about 3 million people without power in South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, Florida, and Virginia, according to Power Outage U.S., this is the story about the hospital. There is apparently a hospital in eastern Tennessee where more than 50 people were stranded and they got onto the roof and were airlifted off of the hospital. Like, it's definitely... Uh, the president's already approved a uh, state of emergency and there's tons of governors that are requesting for help in these areas right now trying to get people up there. Apparently, more than 1,500 federal personnel are deployed to the region, including search and rescue teams, Medical teams, power restoration teams, all that stuff. I'm hearing that more than 400 roads in the western part of the state have been closed because they're just totally washed out, including large chunks of the interstate, like I-40. Um, landslides, flooding forced to close your interstate 40 and tons of other spots. Apparently, there is 23.29 inches of rain in some areas which is insane. No, nowhere can withstand that much rain at one time. There was tornadoes. Apparently, the emergency services assistant director in Buncombe County said his 911 center received more than 3,300 calls within eight hours on Friday alone. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. They were even concerned that the dam for Lake Lure was in an imminent risk of failure at one point. But they've, it's been updated since then. It says that they don't think it's no longer at risk for breaching. So this is the most significant disaster to happen since probably the 1940s for Western North Carolina. And most people that are alive today that live up there have never seen anything like this before. It's absolutely un, unbelievable, you know. Um, so far from what I've been seeing, about there was like crews conducted over 100 swift water rescues on Friday and about half of those were occurring around Asheville, just because it's like the biggest city up there. There's tons of mudslides that ripped out tons of different homes in different locations. And there's a there's an undetermined number of people that are completely un, unaccounted for. Um, they, I've heard and seen like sheriffs of local areas saying that there were so many bodies being found and seen, they don't even have enough personnel to recover all of them because of how how bad it is. It's unlike anything anyone up there has ever seen. Um, as of Saturday morning, over 100,000 people still remain without power in just Asheville alone. So NC Emergency Management has issued a phone number out for people to help to call for assistance with debris cleanup from Hurricane Helen. And it's uh, you just call 844-965-1386. All services are free, but service is not guaranteed, and that's the hotline. And it's going to remain open through Friday, October 11th of 2024. If you are in a, in a tough spot, you need some debris cleaned up. Governor Roy Cooper actually warned and issued out a warning to everybody that said, do not travel unless there is an actual emergency if you're in western North Carolina right now. Apparently, Asheville is so flooded out around the entire city. It's basically like an island, right? The only places that, like the the downtown area, from what I've been told, I have friends that just left Asheville like this morning and said they're saying that it's like uh, flooded in the areas surrounding Asheville, but Asheville proper, like the downtown area is okay. But you, it's hard to get in or out of the city right now. 
Now, there's currently search and rescue operations underway in Western North Carolina right now, and it's continuing after the after Tropical Storm Helen absolutely wreaked havoc there. Currently, as of right now, more than 200 people have been rescued from floodwaters. And North Carolina search and rescue teams are being bolstered by teams from 19 different states and three federal agencies. Now, telecommunication, telecommunications partners have activated disaster roaming up there for everybody, which allows any phone on any cellular network to access any available network to connect to rather than just your provider. As of Saturday morning, about 418 state-maintained roads remain closed, mostly due to flooding, and 11 landslides have been reported. This includes major road closures on Interstate I-26 and I-40 around Asheville, plus dozens of other locations along several U.S. and N.C. highway routes. They're saying that North Carolina residents should only call 911 if there's an actual emergency and dial 211 for other types of information. Up-to-date information on local conditions, shelters, traffic, power outages, and resources are available at readync.gov and from county government social media. The craziest thing about this is I used to hang out in all these different places like App State. I used to go to the downtown areas in App State, and like that's all wrecked completely. And I imagine that a lot of the college students there probably don't have like storage of like stockage of food stocked up in case of an emergency. They're probably all just hanging out, you know, having a good time, relaxing. Um, you know, it's crazy. Like I lived in Asheville for seven years and I'd never seen anything like this before in my life. Like Asheville is one of the most beautiful cities in North Carolina. It's one of the most desirable locations to live in the country. And it's absolutely ruined, like ruined. Had a ton of friends go to UNC Asheville. I worked there, you know, I went to community college while I was there for a couple of years. Um, it's just, it's just crazy. It's going to take so much time to clean up from all this stuff, man. Like, first off, it's going to have to, all the water is going to have to recede and start moving and flowing out to eastern North Carolina. So that way the water levels lower down there. Once the, once the water levels recede, then um, people will be able to start actually getting repairs done. But until then, there's just like, everything's ruined. I don't know how the, how long it's going to take to fix the interstates. Like how long does it take to fix an entire interstate all over the place? Like all this washed out stuff. What do you do? You're going to have to bring in dump trucks full, especially on the side of a mountain. How do you even fix that? Like you're going to have to, I guess, dig into the mountain or something. I don't know, man. Apparently this is the Boone Walmart right here. From what I understand, just like ruined, just like, Tons of trash everywhere. It's just insane, man. But if you've got family or loved ones up there, try to call them if you can. Try to get a shoot a text out to them. Like, do whatever you can to try to talk to people. But, um, you know, everyone be safe out there. And uh, I'm sure that if you look on social media, look on, like, government app, government websites, government social media accounts, see if there's a way that you can help each other up there. Because, like, nobody can get into Western North Carolina, but... If you're there currently right now and you're in a position to help people, do whatever you can to help your fellow neighbor because that's that's what this is. That's what we do. That's the way to do this right here. So um, anyway, everyone be safe out there. And um, I hope that we can get this cleaned up sooner than later.